It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. So today, we are going to be talking about masks. How to draw a mask. And this request comes from a loyal channel subscriber, Robert, who wrote to me and he says he wants to learn how to draw masks, how to put masks on people. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, Robert also wants to learn about how to draw noses. Uh, so we're going to do a separate video on how to draw noses. Although if you look at... Um, uh, if you look in my library of videos, uh, I do cover a little bit about noses in um, one of my face grid videos. So you can look and uh, if, if you can't wait, uh, but I do plan on doing a uh, video specifically about noses um, coming up soon. And don't worry, all, all you guys uh, who've as for other stuff, we're going to be talking about every, everything's on the list. So we're going to be getting to it. Um, so uh, in drawing uh, mass and putting mass on people, it's very similar actually to um, drawing hair or adding hats or, or helmets or any sort of headgear on people in that the first thing you want to draw, do is draw the person themselves, okay? So you, you, so when you want to draw a mask, first thing you want to do is draw the wearer of the mask. And what I want to do is, is go through uh, a couple of different types of masks. Because um, if, if you're a superhero fan like myself and you've, you've been... Um, following superheroes, all different superheroes, you, you're gonna, you, you know then that there are all different types of masks. So the, uh, the first mask I'm gonna tackle is your basic, what you call your, uh, your domino mask, which is basically that, that basic mask we see on, on characters like Robin, where it's just basically a, a strip of material over the eyes so what you do is you draw the, the head. First you draw it maskless, okay? And I'm drawing, I'm, I'm going for like a, a 1980s Titans era Robin here. Okay, sort of the George Perez type, uh, George Perez Nightwing, uh, not Nightwing, George Perez Robin, pre-Nightwing, pre-Nightwing. Um, so I, I'm drawing his face. I, I'll draw, you know, as much of his face as I want, as I need, uh, especially around the eyes. I'm going to leave the eyebrows out because, well, because I'm going to cover them up anyway. And then what I want to do is draw the mask fitting around the eyes. Okay. And sometimes I know there, there are versions of Robin's mask where you don't see the pupils. Um... When he was on the Titans, th that was not how George Perez drew him, at least not in, in not all the time. George, uh, George, who's known for very detailed faces, he would get in and he would draw, he would give uh, Dick Grayson uh, a full face. So you kind of want the, the mask to kind of feel like it is laying, following the contours of the face. So it is curving around it's laying over his nose on his cheeks i don't want to add too many lines to robin's face because then his face will will start to age he'll, he'll start to look older older than than the teen titan he should be uh and then what i like to do now robin of course he wore if not an outright black mask it was a dark enough dark enough, dark green enough mask that it was almost black. So what I do is I darken in the upper part of the mask and then just leave parts of the lower part of the mask. This is also pretty much the same type of mask that Green Arrow wears. 
I mean, there's certainly a, a big, a good amount of overlap when it comes to, to mass. A lot of different characters where, you know, there's only just so many, so many different types of mass that, that can go around. All right. So that is the classic Domino Robin mask. Okay. Now let's go for a bit more of a, of a, Let's go up here and we'll go for more of that, that skull cap covering mask, kind of what, kind of what we would see on say Captain America or someone like that, where the mask just covers most of the head, still leaving part of the face exposed. So because of that, I am going to pretty much like I did with Robin, I'm going to draw the face. I don't want to get too detailed with what's happening around the eyes, for example, the the, the uh, eyebrows. Because again, some of that stuff will get covered. If it helps you, if it helps you to, to draw that, then definitely put that in. Um, I don't need it, so I don't, I don't put it in. But if you feel that it does help you, by all means. So I'm going in, I'm giving this is Steve Rogers, so I'm giving him a nice square jaw. Maybe he's he's shouting some orders. Narrow eyes, nice strong nose. Thin lips, full lower lip, nice strong cheekbones. And pretty much and Captain America, at least as far as I remember him, his ears were always exposed in his costume, so I'm going to go with that now. Cleft chin, because he's, he's a buff, good-looking guy. And now, the, the, the most of the, the mask will kind of give him the, this sort of bald, hairless look. And Cap, he has... He has big eye holes for his mask, okay? Fairly big, at least I always felt. There, there was a time when, um, certainly when Jack Kirby drew him, uh, sometimes he had those small uh, little eye holes where where the eyes would kind of whiten out. You wouldn't see them Batman style. Um, but I always preferred Cap with a, a more open face. And then this part's gonna ride over the nose, come down, Curve over caps, cheeks. And you know, I know these days you can't have a, a superhero costume without 10,000 different seams going all over the place. I'm really not a big fan of that look, to be honest with you. I know everybody needs to sh show the stitching. Um, there's something about that that kind of makes the... Um, the costume look common to me. It, it just makes it look, it makes it look like a stitched together piece of cosplay. And I know there are people who like the seams. I am not one of those. Uh, I, I think it just makes the, it, it turns the superhero's uniform into a cheap Halloween costume. And I, I hate to do that. So I, I don't, I resist that. Unless unless a client really wants me to do that, I resist it. The other thing I'm passionate about is damn it, Cap has wings. I know people worship at the church of the the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but that cap always looked bold to me without wings. And I don't want painted wings. I mean, I want full, honest-to-God wings coming off his head. That, to me, is Captain America. And Cap also mostly has this nice big black shadow on the front of his mask. The A is in that black field, which really pops the A out. And the black comes down and covers up that part. Those, those parts of the, the mask that comes down underneath the eye. And that is... Pretty much Captain America. I'm also not a big fan of, of all the texture heavy, uh, you know, 
nowadays people like to um, do every link of chain mail on Captain America's uh, costume. I, I hate that too. Um, I honestly have no problems with superhero costumes just looking like the superheroes are, are painted whatever color their, their uniforms are. Um, I never saw, felt the need to, to do more than that. Um, to go nuts with the detail as we have gone, uh, in more than, than recent years now. But that's, that's Cap. Okay. Let me see. We, we may be able to get a couple more in. You know, I want to do another common, common mask trope is... Kind of the the full head mask, but with the exposed hair, and we see this one on on Kid Flash, um, uh, Johnny Quick, uh, if you remember him from All Star Squadron. Um, trying to think if anyone over in Marvel had that. Oh, I guess I guess uh, Goliath. When when Hawkeye was Goliath, uh, he had the same sort of mask too. Um, and that's when the, the mask, you know, it's, it's, it's a face mask, covers the, the eyes, the upper part of the face, but it exposes the hair. And I, once again, I'm going to do same thing that I've been doing before. And that is to draw the face sans the mask, no mask just yet. Just draw the face. And we'll put a mask on them. And just, again, with hair, just draw the bald head first. And then add the hair. And in this case, because the hair is exposed, just draw the hair. Add the hair. And then you could add the mask around the hair. By the way, I want to thank everybody. Uh, if you haven't seen my posts on social media, the channel has crossed the 700 subscriber mark. So I really want to thank everybody who has uh, helped me out this far, who has helped us, um, especially my regulars, you guys in the live chat, and you're watching, you're watching me uh, premiere this right now, most likely all of you. Um, and I don't want to start naming you guys because I know I'm going to forget somebody and I, and I don't want to forget anybody. Um, but you guys are great. Thanks for being there. And thanks for, uh, thanks for being there for, for getting me up to the magic 700. Now we got to keep going to 800. And, uh, I've been thinking about a contest I've been thinking about doing a, some type of giveaway, I think you guys uh, deserve it for, for being there for me all this time. So um, I'm going to hammer out the details. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to my, my crew and see what we can do. So, but here is, this is, here we've got Kid Flash. And like I said, uh, Johnny Quick, uh, Goliath, Marvel's Goliath, um, one of the Goliaths, it would have a, a similar mask like this. So, what do you think? Uh, did I forget any masks? Should there be a part two to masks? Please let me know in the comments below. If, is there a specific mask that I didn't do that you guys want me to tackle? Want, want me to do uh, Spider-Man's mask? I, I, I feel like I've drawn Spidey a lot in these videos. But if you want me to, I'll, I'll be happy to, to cover that one. Okay? So that's it for me. Thanks again. Thanks again for all your support. And uh, keep, uh, keep tuning in. Keep tuning in. And as always, keep drawing. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.